Band heterotopia is a special form of heterotopia and the most favorable end of the spectrum with pachydaria and lysencephaly. Band heterotopia has the same signal intensity as cortex on all MRI sequences. And the band of heterotopic gray matter parallels both the cortex and the ventricular system. Band heterotopia is a malformation of cortical development and as shown before in this eight-week-old human embryo, the development of the human cortex can be divided into three major steps. Proliferation of glial cells and neurons in the ventricular layer, migration of the neurons along radial glial cells towards the convexity, and organization of the neurons in the cortical plate establishing six cortical layers. And if you look very closely in the intermediate zone, you can see that the migrating neurons are more or less in line. So they seem to have traveled the same distance from the ventricular layer on their way to the cortex. And the radial glial cells are not just a rope along which the neuron migrates. The neuron originates from the radial glial cell. There's not much blood vessels in the developing brain, so the neuron gets its nutrients from the radial glial cell. And the radial glial cell coordinates the migration of these neurons. Because in the ventricular zone, there are calcium waves and they synchronize the birth of the neurons from the radial glial cells so that the neurons migrate in waves from the ventricular zone towards the cortex. And the calcium waves play a role by going to the next phase in the cell cycle. If you interfere with the calcium waves, the neurons seem to migrate much more randomly. And that is why the migrating neurons form such a nice band. This is an MRI balanced T2 weighted image of a 19 week old human embryo. In black you can see the ventricular layer. In black you can see the cortical plate. And the intermediate zone is very watery, so that has high T2 signal. And there's a grayish subventricular zone where the neurons that are migrating are. And you can see that it's thicker in the frontal region than posteriorly, and that's because the human frontal lobe is so big. The brain is still very smooth at 19 gestational weeks. And if there are not enough neurons reaching the cortex, you have another disorder of migration and that is called lysencephaly. And the most classic form of lysencephaly is located on the X chromosome and you get a very smooth brain with only a four layered cortex and some band of heterotopic gray matter of neurons that have not reached the cortex. And the classic form of lysencephaly is located on the X chromosome and this was an 18-month-old boy with lysencephaly, and he had an 11-year-old sister who had a band heterotopia. So band heterotopia and lysencephaly are part of the same spectrum. And if there are some gyri and the cortex seems thick, it's called pachygyria, as in this case. The Lysencephaly in the spectrum with band heterotopia is called lysencephaly type 1, which implies that there is also a lysencephaly type 2, and there is. And in that case, you have a smooth brain with a cobblestone cortex, and it is caused by overmigration of neurons and glial cells, and that forms a very nice bridge to the next subject I'm going to show which is polymicrogyria. Thanks for watching and until next time.